Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa and Destiny. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and if you want to get subscribed, please kindly subscribe as the boy of my mother's community. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to find the limit of trigonometric functions without using L'Hopital's rule. Thanks to um, George Papon from the University of Ghana for requesting for video on limits. Uh, Peace, Adenya, thanks for your precious comments on my videos. Michael Into, I highly appreciate your precious comments. Um, Harriet and other colleagues, I highly appreciate your comments on my videos. Thumbs up. Now, let's look at uh, these uh, questions. The first one is that, what is the limit of sine of x minus cosine of x divided by cosine of 2x as x approaches pi on 4? We are doing the limits without using L'Hopital's rule. So, we have to be good uh, with our trigonometric identities. And we have these basic uh, limits there for us. Now, let's see how we move with it. What do we do? If we do direct substitution, what are you going to get? In fact, you will get zero. Because if we put cosine of 2 times pi on 4, we are going to get cosine of pi on 2. And pi on 2 is 90. So cos 90 is 0. So you have the denominator to be 0. Sine pi on 4. Pi on 4 is the same as 45. So it will give us, let's say, root 2 divided by 2. And cosine of pi on 4 also gives us root 2 divided by 2. So we are going to have 0 divided by 0, which is indeterminate. Now, we have to do something. Okay, what can we do? What we are going to do here is very, very simple. Now, let us break the denominator. So this will be the limit of sine of x minus cosine of x all divided by cosine of 2x from the angle sine property of our cosine. We are going to have uh, cosine squared x minus sine squared x as the angle sum property of uh, cosine. Now, as x approaches pi divided by 4. Now, this it's nothing but difference of two squares. If you have a square minus b square, you have a plus b times a minus b. Okay, so here we take the limit as x approaches pi and 4, sine of x minus cosine of x, all divided by cosine of x minus sine of x times cosine of x plus sine of x. Multiplication is commutative, so either you bring a minus b first or a plus b first, it means the same thing. Now, what can we do? If you do some simple simplification, you will get there. Now, if you look at these two, let's do something here. Let us factorize negative out, either from this or from that. So, we are going to have the limit as x approaches pi on 4 minus cosine of x minus sine of x all divided by cosine of x minus sine of x times cosine of x plus sine of x. I have factorized x out in the numerator. So check. Minus times this will give us minus cosine. 
minus times positive will give sorry minus times minus will give us positive very very simple as that so this is the same as writing the top as this yes it's the same as negative times this will give you negative negative times negative will give you positive very very simple as that so now this one can cancel this very very simple as that now we will be left with the limit of negative 1 divided by cosine of x plus sine of x as x approaches pi on 4 which is the same as negative times the limit of 1 divided by cosine of x plus sine of x as x approaches pi on 4 which is equal to negative times 1 divided by cosine of pi on 4 plus sine of pi on 4 and this will give us negative 1 divided by this will give us uh, root 2 on 2 plus root 2 on 2 and you will be getting negative 1 divided by 2 times root 2 on 2 and that this 2 will cancel this 2 and you will be left with negative 1 divided by root 2 which is equal to negative root 2 divided by 2 as our final answer wow uh, very very nice very very, very nice Okay. Yeah, these two cancel these two. So okay, that's the answer. Yeah, that's the answer. So let, <laughs> let's take out the next question and then move with that. Let's take the next question. Now the next question is this one. What is the limit of 1 minus cosine of x divided by x? No. It is what is the limit of 1 minus sine of x divided by cosine of x? As x approaches pi on 2. There's the next question. So let's see how we go about this one. So for this one too, if we put in pi on 2, you get 1 minus 1 divided by 0. That will be 0 divided by 0, which is indeterminate. So we have to do something. So what are we going to do? Should we rationalize the numerator or should we rationalize the denominator? Um, wow, let's do something. So, here let's rationalize the denominator. You take the limit as x approaches pi on 2, 1 minus sine of x divided by cosine of x times cosine of x divided by cosine of x, and that will give us the limit of cosine of x divided 1 minus sine of x all divided by cosine of x squared so you know that cosine of cosine squared of x as uh, we have cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equal to 1 so cosine squared of x is equal to 1 minus sine squared of x 
So we write the element of cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x or divided by 1 minus sine squared of x as x approaches pi on 2 is the same as the element of cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x or divided by 1 minus sine of x times 1 plus sine of x as x approaches pi on 2 because this becomes difference of two squares and here this one will cancel this so you are going to have the limit of cosine of x divided by 1 plus sine of x as x approaches pi on 2 very simple as that so let's put in pi on 2 if we put in pi on 2 we are going to have cosine of pi on 2 or divided by 1 plus sine pi on 2 very, very simple as that and what is cosine of pi on 2? set your calculator into radians it will give us 0 divided by 1 plus and what is sine pi on 2 sine pi on 2 will give us 1 and this will give us 0 so here our final answer is 0 so we've done this without using the Jupiter's rule thank you for watching please subscribe like share and leave your comments bye bye